Greetings and welcome to the introduction to astronomy. One of the things that I like to do in each of my introductory astronomy classes is to begin the class with the astronomy picture of the day from the NASA website that is apod.nasa.gov apod. And today's picture for February 16th of 2023. Well, it is titled the Hydra Cluster of Galaxies. So what do we see here? Well, this is an example of a galaxy cluster and actually one of several nearby large galaxy clusters to our own. And as we see it, we see many different galaxies in this cluster. And in fact, most of what we see here are galaxies. You will note two very distinct stars within the galaxy, which are actually part of our own Milky Way and just happen to be located along the same line of sun. Uh, toward this galaxy, a cluster of galaxies. Now you can just tell the stars by the distinctive diffraction patterns going through them because of the optics of the telescope used to make the observations. So if you look around, you'll see two very prominent stars here with a distinctive cross pattern going through them. You can also see several fainter ones scattered around. If you look around the image, you'll see several others that have also have that pattern and are also stars. Those objects of similar brightness that you do not show this are galaxies. So much of what we see here are galaxies within this cluster. Now we find that galaxies do cluster together. And this is a very common theme and is becoming more and more pronounced over the age of the universe, that galaxies tend to gather together into small groups into clusters, those clusters gather into super clusters, and then into large filaments, leaving most of the universe voids, which are almost completely empty of galaxies with almost no galaxies in them and that the galaxies within the universe are concentrated into a very small percentage of the actual volume of the universe. Within the galaxy cluster, we can see a couple different types of galaxies. Uh, we can see uh, elliptical galaxies, which are very prominent, no distinct structure, but a blob like shape. And we can see some spiral galaxies that are uh, scattered around as well and they all have a distinct blue color to them from star formation. So those ones that look a little more blue and have a disk then those are a spiral galaxy. Sometimes we can see them uh, as we see one towards the middle here. Uh, we can see the distinct spiral arms. Sometimes we see them edge on and we have to make other interpretations because when we see a very flat galaxy, it means it's generally a disk galaxy since elliptical galaxies never get that flat. They get to kind of an oblong shape, but never any flatter than that. So we'll see different types of galaxies and toward the center of the cluster, the central portion of the cluster will be dominated by large elliptical galaxies. Multiple collisions will eventually use up all of the gas and dust uh, within a spiral galaxy and we will have only elliptical galaxies left and that concentrates near the center where galaxies are very prominent where there's lots of galaxies there and collisions are occurring all the time. Toward the outskirts of a galaxy cluster, we tend to see more spiral galaxies. They've had less chances for interactions and have had a better chance to be able to survive as a spiral galaxy. So we can see both types here within our image for today, as well as the number of stars, which are much closer and located within our own Milky Way and just happen to be along the same line of sight toward this distant galaxy cluster. So that was our picture of the day for February 16th of 2023. It was titled the Hydra Cluster of Galaxies. We'll be back again tomorrow for the next picture. Preview to be formerly 2023 CX1. So we'll see what that is about tomorrow. And until then, have a great day everyone, and I will see you in class.